Next question. If the amount of bonus paid by the company in years 2013 and 16 together is rupees 6.48 lakh and the amount of salary paid by the company in the years 2012 and 14 together is 612 lakhs, then the total amount of bonus paid by the company during the given period is approximately what percentage of the total salary that is paid during this period? So what are they saying? Amount of bonus, where is bonus paid by the company 2013 and 16. This together is given as 6.48 lakhs and 2012 and 14 salary, this is given as 612. So what should we find out? We have to find again the ratio. So you have here 6.48 plus 3 plus 3.84 plus 3.68, correct? So that is going to be your numerator. 3 plus 6.48 plus 3.84 plus 3.68 and this divided by this is what they are asking us right 612 plus 342 plus 336 plus 420 yes less than one percentage that's correct but you see look at the percentages it is one percentage 0 0.75 0 0.5 so so actually if you add these numbers right what do you get uh, you have 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 4 is 20 so I'm doing digit sum 0 then you have to carry over 6 8 8 plus uh, 6 is 14 14 plus 4 is 18 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 4 is 20 okay so you get actually okay you are adding what do you get you get this then 7 and 1 so you get 17 correct on top you get 17 on denominator again if you add you will get uh, 8 10 you get 1710 correct you get 17 on top and 1710 in the denominator so what is that see this is nothing but approximately one percentage correct this is 1710 so one percentage of 1710 is 17.1 you are getting 17 on top so your answer is going to be one percentage approximately one percentage so the correct answer is option a See you, uh, that's what, don't approximate too much. If you, uh, see these additions are easy only, right? If you do a digit sum method, you will get closer values. You have 17 divided by 1710. That's what you get. Now, you know, one percentage of 1710 is what? It is 17, correct? 10 percentage of 1710 is 171. One percentage of 1710 is 17.1. On the top, you have 17. So approximately, I can say it is one percentage of 1710. So the correct answer is option A. So the next question is on missing data interpretation. Okay, let us try to solve this DI. See, this DI actually, it's a very easy one in the sense there is no much logic that is required. You just have to do some additions, multiplications and divisions, that's all. But the key here is the calculations, right? Yeah, there are a lot of calculations involved in this question. So Preet, yes, that is the correct answer for the question. Option C is the correct answer, that is 10 is to 13. So let us look at the question now. If the total expenditure on taxes for the years 2012 and 2016 together is rupees 181 lakhs. So this year plus this year, right, put together. So this plus this put together is 181, right, I'm including both of these put together. It's 181 they have given. Now, then what are they saying? And if the total expenditure on fuel and transport for the years 213 and 15, fuel and transport for 213 and 15 put together, that is given as... Uh, 245 okay so put together 2012 and 16 taxes is 181 put together this uh, fuel and transport for 2013 and 15 is 245 then the ratio between the total expenditure on the taxes for all the given years and the total expenditure on fuel and transport for all the given years respectively is approximately dash right so basically you have to find out the ratio uh, between the total expenditure on taxes and the total expenditure of this. So just you have to add these figures divided by addition of these figures. That's all, right? So what are we supposed to do? See, we have to do 181 plus 108 plus 74 plus 88 divided by 98 plus 245 plus 101 plus 142. Now you have to give this ratio. So that's what they are asking you in the question. Now, um, see, how do you do it? Again, here we are. We will not be able to approximate much because if you look at the ratios, right? See, what is four is to seven? Um, four is to seven is nothing but see what is forty by seven? Forty by seven is uh, seven fives are thirty-five, correct? So five point uh, five, some value like that. So I can say that four by seven, right? Approximately, if I take it in terms of decimals, this four by seven is nothing but something close to zero point five five. I am not sure, I am just taking a value, roughly a value, right? It will be 0 0.56 or 57 actually because 
35 plus 5 is 40. So you have 5 there in between. Okay. So it is approximately 0 0.56, right? I hope you know how I am saying 0 0.56. See, I have 4 by 7. So I know 40, point, 40 by 7 is 5 point six some value like that so i am saying 4 by 7 is nothing but 0 0.56 roughly i am taking now next see what is 2 by 5 2 by 5 is nothing but 40 by uh, 2 by 5 is like 40 by 100 correct that is 0 0.4 so this is 0 0.4 now here you have 10 by 13 so 10 by 13 is what uh, 10 by 13 is roughly you have like if you take 100 by 13 correct it will be close to um, 0 0.4 seven six right seven five seven six in that region now if you have again five by nine so it is again going to be zero point five five some value like that because 50 by nine right zero point five five close to that i'm just taking approximate values not exact values here then you have nine by 13 so what is uh, <coughs> nine by 13 again it is close to uh, zero point six eight six nine something like that okay i'm just taking approximate values now what i'm trying to say is when you are doing the calculations we cannot approximate too much because if you see the fractions right that is the uh, options that are given they are little closer okay so now what are we supposed to find out see we know these two add to 181 and uh, these two they add to 245 so we have to find out what is 181 plus 108 plus 74 plus 88 divided by 98 plus 245 plus 101 plus 142. So just add these two, what do you get? See what is 181 plus 108. See one way to do it is again by using the digit sum method, add the digits. Otherwise you can do the calculations in your mind, like split and add. So if you have 108, 181, right? Take 181 in mind plus 108 will be what? See 181 plus 100 and 100 will be 281. So 281 plus 8 is equal to 289 correct then you have 289 plus 70 then 289 plus 70 plus 4 split it like that and add it okay that is one way in which you can do similarly if you look at the denominator or you can do digit by digit okay digit sum method that is 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 4 uh, 13 like that you can do that is one way otherwise split and add see splitting and adding a uh, lot of times it helps see look here you have 98 plus 245 so you know what is 245 plus 100 245 plus 100 is 345 now you need to do only 245 plus 98 so 345 minus 2 correct so 343 is going to be the sum of these two now you have 343 in your mind then you have plus 101 what is 343 plus 100 it is 443 so 443 plus 1 so this full sum is nothing but 444 plus you have to do a 142 so if you try to do it like that you will be able to arrive at the answer faster okay so when you actually solve it you will get it as you will get 444 plus 142 is 586 correct and the numerator you will get it as um, 451 isn't that so 451 divided by 586 now here i am going to approximate this okay now I, I can't divide this and find out the exact value it's difficult right so i just take it as 450 and 585 so if i take it as 450 and 585 what do i get see uh, 450 divided by 5 will go in both correct so this will be 90 and this is going to be 117 now if this is 90 and this is 117 if i divide right see what is 117 into um, let us say 7 what is 117 into 7 117 into 7 is going to be 9 then you have uh, 4 that is 1 819 correct so if you see the answer that you get right 90 divided by 117 that is going to be 0 0.7 some value okay is that clear see I know that 117 into 7 is equal to 819. So if I'm doing 90 by 117, if I do it in the actual way, I'll get a point here, I'll put a zero here. Correct? So basically I will do 900 by 117 and put a point in front. Correct? So uh, in, in my final answer, that's what I'm going to do. So what do, uh, you know that 117 into 7 is 819. So 90 divided by 117 is going to be close to 0 0.75. Right? Definitely greater than 
0.75. So here now by looking at the options you can directly take this is going to be your answer. Now see if even if you don't take these fractions in the beginning just do this calculation you know this is somewhere close to 0.7 immediately you can eliminate these options right these three options you can eliminate. Now you have only two options which are close to 0.7. Then you will, if you find out, if you fine tune better, you know this is going to be your answer. Okay, I hope it is clear. See, this question is easy, but again, calculations, it takes a bit of time. So, best way would be to uh, approximate and solve at some point, right? Okay, if the expenditure of the company on uh, the on salary and interest of on loans in the year 2014 are 30, 324 lakhs and 41.6 lakhs respectively then the total expenditure of the company over these items during the year 2014 is dash so what is it you have to find out here see in 2014 they are saying salary this this value plus this value together what are they saying it is um, this is 324 right they are saying salary is 324 lakhs and this is going to be 41.6 lakhs. Now they are asking you what is the total expenditure. Again you have to add these terms and get the answer. Okay. So again uh, how can you do it? See either uh, you can take it like this. Now if you look at the options right. The options are fairly spaced. Uh, but again remember there is a none of these options. So again you will have to find out the exact answer. We cannot approximate because none of these options is there. Okay, but again, it's an easy one. So uh, not so difficult. We'll be able to solve it. See, you have 324 plus 74. Try to do the calculations in your mind as far as possible. So if you have 324 plus 74, it is nothing but 398. Correct. So you have 398. Then you have to add 101 to it. So 398 plus 100 is uh, 498 plus 1 is 499. Then to that, what should you add? You have to add these two numbers that's all 499 plus 41.6 then you have 3.84 add that otherwise you can add uh, digit sum method also you can use to add so you will get 540 you have 499 plus uh, 41.6 so you will have 540.6 sorry uh, yeah 5 correct 540.6 plus 3.84 that will be 544.44 so the correct answer is option b 544.44 okay so such questions uh, try to do as much calculations as possible in the mind write down the remaining and either do, uh, do a digit sum method or again split and merge add that you will get the answer first if the expenditure amount on the interest of interest on loans in the year 2013 and 14 together is given as 74.1 basically you have to find out the average of the total period on interest on loans again very easy what you have to do you have to add all these 23.4 plus 74.1 plus 36.4 plus 49.4 divided by 5 so here what do you do try to use the digit sum method right that is the uh, easiest one because you have a lot of points also involved and you need to get the correct answer uh, because again none of these is there see if this none of these is not there no you can approximately say which is the answer but since none of these is there it's better to get the exact value so uh, here you have 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 4 9 <coughs> 9 plus 4 that is 13 so you have 0 0.3 i am doing digit sum method here so 9 plus 1 10 uh, 10 plus 6 16 16 plus 4 uh, 20 20 plus 3 23 correct so then 3 then you have a uh, 2 carry over 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 7 11 11 plus 3 14 14 plus 4 18 so 183.3 divided by 5 so when you divide this you get 36.66 so the answer is option d okay so digit sum method is i add digit by digit that's what i have done if the expenditure on the salary and taxes of the company in the year 2012 are rupees 288 lakhs and 83 lakhs respectively and the expenditure on bonus and taxes of the company in the year 2016 are uh, 3.96 lakhs and 98 lakhs respectively then the total expenditure of all these items in 2012 was approximately what percentage of the total expenditure in 2016. So in 2012 whatever is missing. Um, <coughs> salary and taxes so this they have uh, given this as 288 and this they are saying it is 83 correct 83 lakhs and then uh, similarly expenditure on bonus and taxes 2016 bonus and taxes is given as 3.96 and 98 okay now you have to find 
the ratio between these two percentages. So how do you do it? See, you have to just add the uh, figures in 2012, add the figures in 2016 and divide them and say the answer. Correct? So what, do you, what should you do? You have 288 plus 3 plus 83 plus 98 plus 23.4. Again, split and merge. Add that way. That is the easiest way to do. See, you have 288 plus 3. You know what is 288 plus 3? That is 291. Correct? Now 291 plus 98. How much is that? See, 291 plus 100 is 391. 391 minus 2 is 389. So you have now 389 plus 83 plus 23.4. Correct? So that way, if you add it this way, you are able to arrive at the answer faster. So what is it that you have? You have 389 plus 83 plus 23.4. So if you add that, I just wrote it down so that it's clear to all of you. So you will have here <coughs> 106.4. So you will have 389 plus 106.4. 389 plus 100 is what? 489 correct so 489 plus 6.4 that is 495.4 so you have 495.4 divided by this is the top one now bottom one you have to add again 420 uh, plus 3.96 plus 98 plus 142 plus 49.4 correct so 660 plus this so it's going to be 713.36 so this is the required ratio that you are looking at now this into 100 so again here what do you do here to uh, solve faster what you can do is see you know what is 10 percentage of 713.16 uh, you know it is 71.3 correct similarly what is 50 percentage of this 713.36 50 percentage is nothing but half of this correct that is 713 divided by so approximately it is 356 correct now what do you have on top on top you have 495 so what is 60 percentage of 713 approximately it will be 356 plus 71 correct so approximately it's going to be somewhere 427 approximate so then what is going to be 70 percentage of uh, the 713 again it's going to be plus 427 plus 71 correct so approximately 498 so this answer that you get is approximately going to be 70 percentage i hope you understand how i did see here uh, instead of dividing what you can do is you know what is 10 percentage of 713 that is 71.3 similarly what is 50 percentage of 713 it is approximately 356 60 percentage 427 70 percentage approximately 498 so you have 495 point here anyway we are taking approximate values so this fraction if you divide approximately the answer that you get should be 70 the correct answer is option e